DC Universe Online makes its way over to the Nintendo Switch, Hearthstone goes live with the latest chapter in the Dalaran heist, Digital Extremes drops in the second new Warframe of 2019, and Grinding Gear Games is ready to hype up the Path of Exile Legion expansion. What's good everyone, James Blonde here with the weekly recap for gaming news and announcements of the week of May 24th, 2019. Starting out the news this week, Digital Extremes is proud to release a huge new update this week for the PC version of Warframe, the Jovian Concord. With it comes a complete visual and gameplay overhaul of the Tino favorite tile set, Jupiter, aka Gas City. It now has new environments with modern parkour movement in mind, as well as new enemies to confront and secret lore to uncover. Through new sabotage, rescue, and spy missions, and even a new gameplay mode of disruption, Tenno will piece together frightening tidbits of lore that could lay the groundwork for a looming war. If that weren't enough, there's a powerful new boss, the Flying Rapalalist. Using your Warframe's parkour skills, Tenno can propel to previously unreachable heights and new laboratories inside, and weigh their chances outside by leaping across distant floating platforms, crossbars, and antennas, or die trying. The second new Warframe of 2019 also arrives in this update, the Ethereal Wisp. Players can glide across the battlefield wielding light-based abilities to support their allies, and to deceive them with her unique passive, she can turn invisible in air. If she needs, she can also incinerate her foes using four devastating abilities. Awesome updates to Warframe this go around for sure. Next up, Eden Rising arrived at the beginning of this past week from Invisio Creations as an open world tower defense with over 50,000 wish lists on Steam. It's a blend of action tower defense and open world exploration. It also features two additions, including a free to play option. Eden Rising launched on early access last year and since then has added quite a few new features. This includes resource cultivation, character customization, a revamped item upgrade system, and online co-op for up to 8 players. This launch also adds in the free-to-play Explorer Edition, which is a fully featured gameplay experience with no microtransactions. Players that own the early access version of the game will now have access to the Ascendant Edition, which is the paid for version, which is available to purchase for new players. This edition includes four additional areas, more sieges, armored dyes, extra bestiary mastery, and more. Regardless of which edition you own, you can still play with your friends. The Explorer Edition owners can jump into the games of Ascendant Edition users and gain access to all of the content and missions that they have. Eden Rising is available today for free on Steam or for $24.99 for the Ascendant Edition. For our full thoughts on the game, check out Colton's first look video available on MMOHUT's YouTube channel. Next up, a huge update dropped for the console edition of World of Tanks this past week, simply known as the 4.10 update. With it, the limited time commander mode will also be around for console players. This RTS mode will be playable until May 27th, offering a new way to approach the tank combat for everyone. On a more permanent side of things, the new exact armor value indicator will give tank commanders immediate feedback into the health of their vehicle, adding new depths to tactical gameplay. Each highlighted armor plate will display the exact amount of armor it has instead of just a range. Additional camouflage options are also being added for tank lines from Czechoslovakia, Italy, USSR, and Germany, letting commanders better customize and hide their favorite vehicles. Players will also be able to take the new collection for a spin and the adjusted map rotation and face off on more equal terms thanks to the new tank balance changes. There are also some exciting new armor options coming to the game in the form of the German Mauerbrecher VK168.01, it's kind of a mouthful there, and the French ELC Even 90. Available only until June 10th, the Mauerbrecher sports thick armor and a powerful 128mm gun. This tank is a double threat, with heavy armor to shield your team and a gun capable of dealing massive damage. Available only until June 11th, the ELC Even 90 is a light mobile tank with excellent fire support, perfect for scouting or high speed smash and grab attacks. There's also the new addition of the War Chest, which has a variety of content for the Commander's War Chest, General's War Chest, and the Hero's War Chest. Finally, Wargaming has announced that the deals of the week have returned this week, with two fan favorite tanks in the Primo Victoria and the Bear KV-122. Also this past week, Phoenix Labs launched their free-to-play co-op ARPG Dauntless on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and the Epic Game Store. This is a major milestone in the games industry as the first ever game 
to launch with true cross-play functionality across all platforms. The launch fulfills Phoenix Labs' promise of One Dauntless, a cross-platform and cross-progression system that enables players to take their Dauntless account with them wherever they go and allow players to team up with others around the world regardless of their platform of choice. Dauntless arrives with a number of improvements and content updates, such as the Mastery System. This offers a new way to play for players as they can now hone their skills, earn experience, unlock achievements, and other rewards. Each weapon and behemoth has its own Mastery card to explore. The Hunt Pass also arrives with this launch, the Hidden Blades Hunt Pass as it's called, which gives thematic new gear to show off. With the Moon Blossom Festival taking over, players who tackle the Hidden Blades Hunt Past can embrace their inner assassin across 50 levels of content in both the basic and elite tracks. In other MMO news, the Eternal Magic, an upcoming fantasy MMORPG that features dynamic fights and large-scale battles with up to 80 players, is entering closed beta. It will also feature a MOBA mode, being able to party and hold weddings on your own estate, guild battles, and more. Every character can create their own unique fighting style using five skill categories for every class. Players can specialize in one or spread out their skills across several skill trees to play the way they want. For those with PvP in mind, there are guild battles, 5v5 MOBA battles, and also the immense battlefields. Eternal Magic also has incredible places to explore with high risk and equal rewards, as well as pets to tame. These pets also have skills that can be used in battle. Players can make friends, join guilds, get married, and run their own estate. They also announced a beauty contest where shield maidens can download a photo and take part in it. Other players will make gifts and give them to their favorite shield maidens, and the statue of the most popular girl will be installed in the capital city. On the downside, if you want to guarantee a spot in the upcoming closed beta test, you'll have to purchase an early access pack. Speaking of packs, the single player story in Hearthstone, the Dalaran Heist, has the latest chapter live and available for play in the game. Players can go as far as chapter 3 today, and the arch-villain Rafam's plan continues to unfurl. As low-level operatives in Rafam's League of Evil, players will rampage through the streets, spires, and sewers of Dalaran, ensuring that every part of the plan succeeds. With the aid of King Togwoggle, Hagatha and their lackeys, players have cracked the Dalaran Bank and released the Denzins of the Violet Hold. The next target, of course, is the Streets of Dalaran themselves. The Streets of Dalaran are packed with the carts of peddlers of precious wares, meaning that there's only room for four minions on each side of the board. Make the most of the space available and take advantage of your opponent's limited room. In another bit of Hearthstone news, Blastmaster Boom has been up to no good and is upgrading his arsenal. He's out to perfect some of his pet projects on June 3rd when the Rise of the Mech event begins in-game. This update includes a brand new legendary mech, spelled out Snip Snap, buffs the cards in every class, a new arena draft rotation, and the Mech Ventational event, which spans several days. In order to acquire Snip Snap, players just need to log in between June 3rd and July 1st for a golden copy of this new neutral legendary mech. It can be crafted for the usual cost of 1600 dust, and if you want to see these cards in action, you're going to want to make sure to tune in to the Mech Ventational event beginning on June 3rd through the 4th. And for more information on the Mech Ventational and how you can watch, check out the full article over at MMOS.com. But while you're there, check out Jason's newest article on the best monetization in free-to-play games. It's really easy to come up with bad examples on this, uh, so we decided to highlight some of the industry standouts instead. The full article is linked in the description below. You're going to want to check it out. Announced initially during Black Desert Online's content roadmap in April, Kakeo Games and Pearl Abyss announced the release date for the Star's End update. This update coming on June 5th, 2019 adds in new high-end content where players forge a new legendary Black Star weapon. The Black Star weapons represent a new pinnacle of power for Black Desert Online players. There will be a new quest line where players head to a new area called Star's End. This is where players gather the material to forge this titanic weapon. Star's End is a new area themed after the infamous world boss Kazarka and is located in the western area of Kalfion, one of the biggest regions of Black Desert Online. Only the bravest adventurers will be able to challenge the dangers that lie within, and forging this weapon will certainly mark a player as a veteran of Black Desert Online and will be a worthwhile achievement. Underwater Ruins, a new recently announced expansion also released after Black Desert Online's regular maintenance recently. This content features two new adventuring zones that will take players to fantastical areas and deep hidden caves. The Prati Cave and the Cycraea Ruins will offer challenges for adventures of varied playstyles. The ultimate challenge of this will be the new boss, Cycrid. 
To commemorate the launch of this content, all game packages will be 50% off, which lasts until May 29th, 2019. Better hurry. Up next, Steel Forged is the latest update to come to Paladins, and it comes with a host of new content for their players. There's a new lore-driven map in the Marquis Siege mode, known as Bazaar. The Paladins and Magistrates conflict has spilled out into the streets of this bazaar, and this bright, flourishing village is about to be flooded with conflict. Players can adventure through the hidden market and learn more about the ancient lunar goddess and her followers as you explore this map. The importance of the moon, foxes, and a mysterious deity-like statue can be seen in this map. The vibrant market offers players a unique new gameplay mechanic in the realm, gates. Create game-winning strategies with new team-based gates that only open for the correct team, allowing for quick retreats and strong flanking opportunities. But quick and mobile enemies can also take advantage of the open gates, should you be lax. A new battle pass also comes in this update, the Steel Forged Battle Pass. Over 100 great treasures await in this epic fantasy-themed battle pass. Set out on an adventurous quest with new skins for Androxus, Anami, Maldamba, and Barak. Players can unlock Steel Forge Androxus, the Dragon's Keep animated loading frame, and an exclusive Dragon Forged avatar instantly when they purchase the Steel Forge Battle Pass. My.com and Booming Games revealed recently that their free-to-play tactical MMO Conqueror's Blade will be having an open beta in June. Beginning on June 4th, players can register on My.com's website and begin their conquest of land, whether it be solitary or joining forces with other conquerors. Players can master the art of medieval warfare and enter 15 vs 15 siege battles and control a warlord in one of 10 different classes. Success will demand cunning tactics, devastating siege engines, and powerful special abilities, all while also commanding their army. Players can also ride out into the perilous vast open world and conquer lands and resources in the name of their burgeoning empire. Those that purchase Founders Packs gain a head start of May 28th in advance of the open beta. There are three packs with a variety of bonuses, and more information about those can be found at the MMOHUT site post linked in the description below. In other news, Daybreak Games announced recently that their free-to-play MMORPG DC Universe Online will be coming to the Nintendo Switch this summer. Already available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC, DCUO will extend its reach to the portable Switch console. Players will travel to iconic DC locations and meet over 300 DC characters in both the handheld mode and TV mode on the Nintendo Switch. DC Universe Online allows players to channel their inner hero or villain by creating a unique, customizable character with a variety of superpowers. Players will experience thrilling, fast-paced battles alongside and against DC characters including Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman, the Joker, and plenty more. Fans explore immersive, story-driven adventures in Gotham City, Metropolis, Titan Islands, Atlantis, and many other famous DC locations. Also this past week, Final Fantasy XIV announced a Moogle Treasure Trove event coming this week. The Moogle Treasure Trove is a special event that has no set schedule in-game. The ultimate goal is to collect irregular tombstones and acquire rare items. There are lots of rare items, including classic items players have sought out before and brand new ones. This update begins on Thursday, May 30th, 2019 and will run until the launch of Patch 5.0. Players will tackle duties that are associated with the event, tagged in the duty finder with a Moogle icon, and upon completion will receive irregular tombstones. There are conditions though, undersized party option and joining a party in progress will not award irregular tombstones. These can be exchanged in the itinerant Moogle in all three capital cities. A list of these items are available in the link below, mounts, cosmetics, orchestrian rolls, you name it. You won't want to miss out on these items. And finally last, but definitely not least, Grinding Gear Games has announced their next expansion for Path of Exile, entitled Path of Exile Legion. The new expansion pack will feature a brand new Legion Challenge League, where players are tasked with fighting armies frozen in time to gain powerful new items and jewels. There's also been an overhaul to the entire melee combat engine, which will make melee builds feel much more natural and fun to play. Naturally, there's also a slew of new unique items and skills to play with, as with every expansion. For the full details on this new expansion arriving next month, check out the announcement video from Colton via the link in the description. Anyway guys, that's about it for all the major news and announcements for this week. For more information on the news topics, check the links in the description below. Feel free to discuss the news or even more news in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. But until next time guys, that's going to be it for me. I'm James Blonde. 
See you out there, gamers.